the other rare causes are for for example you could not have a neurovascular conflict even if you've got a cyst sequencing done in which case we call it the idiopathic trigeminal neuralgia right right uh, to the lay people it may sound like the doctor is an idiot and the patient's condition is pathetic so we call it idiopathic but no oh, that's don't... a little i didn't realize what you were trying to say so like, what is it trying to say where is it getting at that's a nice one huh? that's that's the usual definition of idiopathic right why oh, the dream is i'm 25 yeah, the patient's years condition i is pathetic and the doctor is an idiot he hasn't been able to figure that out um, uh, but yeah that's the cause think about. Uh, that's one of the reasons i mean that we see we see it quite often where there is no neurovascular compression Got or a it. conflict you could have rare cases like multiple sclerosis where there Correct. is to damage to a segment of the nerve called demyelination also contributing to you know compression very rarely there could be brain tumors correct i was uh, just going to say that yeah. tumors that are directly causing compression on the nerve or in any part of the nerve causing the neuralgia yeah, absolutely but more often than not we either see it as either the idiopathic version or the neuro patients with neurovascular conflict but an mri brain gives us a lot of answers got it right because the treatment if there is a neurovascular conflict as you know is different if there is no compression is different if there is a demyelination or a damage to the nerve is completely different so depending upon what we see is what we take it forward with 